All right, guys. Now, I like these knockoff super swampers we got here. Oops. They actually perform decent. But this truck, it needs the weight back in the front. Now, I don't really have any other options except to put these rims back on the front. And I'm going to go ahead and put my original smaller RC4 drive tires back on the Super Swampers. These are good tires. I actually like them better than the bigger ones of the same type. But I only got two of these heavy rims. And the other day on my new obstacle, I kept popping a wheelie. So I'm going to go ahead and put the heavy ones back in the front. Throw these back ones onto these rims again like I had them before. These ain't even glued on. They just pop right off. So I'm going to slap them on. And then I think they'll give me maybe just enough front weight to get up that carpet mountain I got in my obstacle course I just made. I'm going to find out. It's raining today. Hopefully it'll ease up and I can go test it. All right, guys, we're getting ready to change these tires out. And uh, I remember yesterday my shock came loose here, so I got to tighten this up. No big deal. And when I first got this truck, he already had a lot of these leaf springs taken apart, and I put them back together because he gave me all the pieces. Well, I'm thinking that maybe I should go ahead and loosen them back up. On the front, I got the, the, the full one, plus a full-length second one. And I think I actually got a third one at the bottom I think yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that third one and on the back I believe all I've done on the back so far I took off the third one but it does have a well not even a full length middle one it's got a shorter second one but in the front it actually has a full length second one and a third one. I'm going to take that third one off the front. I'm just going to leave two like the back has. I believe that might help soften it up a little bit since I've already got tires off and I got to tighten the shock anyway. I might as well do that. I'm going to give it a try. All right, well, here's the ones that we had under there. Sorry, I got my, let me turn my headlamp off. Get the shadow away. Anyway, we had these under there with this. A little dark i know but i'm thinking i don't know if i should try it without none of them on there because i know these are pretty weak up in here it looks like maybe i'm just gonna put this little one back under it and try that instead of leaving the big one i'm gonna try that and see if that gives me a little bit more flex all right now what i did i went ahead and took let me get my light over here where i can see better took off the bottom ones and then I went in and put the little one back on top I know it don't do nothing there but it does keep the metal from breaking right there from what I've seen where the screws go but it definitely feels like it's gonna be a lot softer that way I'm gonna test it out and we'll see if I like it or not I can always put it back so basically it's running on one spring that way instead of three so I'm gonna do the other side the same way all right, well, we took these two out, like I said, and then took out a big one on each side of the front, and I could see a little difference. I'm not saying it's great, but, I mean, two tires has always been the limit anyway, but it seems, it does seem just a little bit better. I won't really know until I drive it, obviously. Excuse me, Gilligan, what do you got to say? Not a damn word, right? My brother-in-law gave me this little sticker come off of some kind of video game he got. It's pretty cool. Something to do on an Xbox game. So anyway, I might go out in the rain and test it on that carpet mountain. All right, well, the rain is it lit down just a little bit. It's still pretty bad out there. But I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and test it out. Like I say, all I did was change around the springs a little bit and put my small original tires back on. And like I say, these are beadlock heavy weighted rims and these are just the plastics. It gives me just a little extra front weight, you know. 
That's how I had been running it before I put the other ones on there anyway. Now we're gonna see what's up with that. And they're 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 good performing tires. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me good. The, the phone, you know, it's far away from me when I'm talking. I don't have no microphone, so. I was actually going to put my big old uh, light on top of there, the light bar I got. Did I tighten that wheel? Let me make sure I tightened all these tires. Yep, alright. Just wobbly. Alright, the main test I'm going for is going to be the... the the carpet climb over here was what I was really wanting to get into. Kept wanting to tip over here yesterday because it's pretty damn steep. So we're going to see today if any difference from them weighted rims or not. So far. Not only that, is these tires have just... Totally outperformed them other tires. Totally. And it's raining outside. Everything's wet. And I literally just outperformed the tires big time. And the weight kept me from flipping. I really don't know if I outperformed the tires for sure. Because like I say, the weight was tipping me over. See if I can find a way to get out of this predicament though. Like we're going down this way. <laughs> On the other side, it's just kind of a drop off. But like I say, right there, that's what it was. That weight keeping me down. Come on, boy. Nice. I love it. Suspension is. I mean, I really can't tell much difference in that little leaf spring or not. Oh, I guess we're going this way today. All right, we're going to come back and try again. Good save. Obviously, the rain has done settled the carpet in. I need more weight in the front. There we go. She's a climber though. Little tires or not, I like them and they don't rub so much when I steer left and right, so. See if this will work out. I got some screws in the bottom of that. I gotta get out of that board. This truck ain't as wide as the Gen 8, so a little easier on that challenge. And actually, I didn't even have to hardly steer it all the way up. It went straight all the way up that board. Here we gotta kind of go across and maneuver back around. Oh yeah. Oh, it's hanging up in something there, too. Now, the only problem I got over here is there is no way up. <laughs> that was kind of fun. I have not came up with a plan on that one yet. I just got to get a few rocks or something to throw there. But we will get to it. There we go. No crooked there. Ain't got no body mounts, really, just Velcro. 
just about everything I got on there. I made work. It's a Lexan body that was never meant to be there. So wet, nasty day out here, I know that. I will say that much. Let's check out for some, see if we're getting any articulation out of this rig now. Tires a little muddy, I guess. They're being a little bit lower to the ground. I can tell I'm losing my ground clearance a little bit. She still does okay. Climb right across all them boards, won't you? Well, all right, guys, I'm freezing. It's cold outside. Hope y'all had a good day. Peace. Talk to you next time.